Bionic Gloves presents the Hands-On Golf Podcast, bringing anatomy and hand function to the forefront of glove design to improve comfort, fit, and performance. Bionic is a division of Hilrick and Bradsby Company, makers of Louisville Slugger bats and ball gloves. Bionic gloves are the only gloves designed by a leading orthopedic hand surgeon, Dr. Jim Kleinert. Welcome, everyone, to this episode of the Bonnie Gloves Hands-On Golf Podcast. My name is Chaz Rat, and I'm here with Barry Bonifield, and we're here at the Crescent Hill Golf Course in Louisville, Kentucky. So let's get right into the email, and this one comes in from Ben Hung, and he says, Can you provide me with any sort of drills to make clean divots in front of the ball with irons? I know that I should make divots with my short irons, but I should also be able making to make them with my long irons as well. I tend to hit the shots fat when I intensely try and make a divot after the ball. Barry, how are you going to help us with this question today? Ben, what a great question. deals predominantly with consistency and quality of the strike. And so we'll talk about weight shift and where you start your swing, and we'll take it from there. Great question. Well, Ben, thank you for your question. And remember, it's real easy. Just for your submission for this story idea, you're going to get, yes, the, the bionic glove. And if you would like to participate in this podcast, it's real easy. Please send us an email, podcast at bionicgloves.com. Make sure you, of course, have the question, the size of the glove you wear, and whether you are right or left-handed. And if we do use it, we'd be more than happy to send you one as well. And also remember, please leave your feedback in YouTube and within iTunes as well. So everyone, let's go out on the course with Barry, and let's talk about how we can resolve this question. So Ben, here we are at Crestnell Golf Course, and we want to talk about divots and the quality of strike and your tendency to hit the golf ball fat, uh, but should you make the same divots with your long irons as you do with your short irons? Okay, great question, and this is a question that affects all of us golfers because we want to hit the ball solidly when we swing whatever iron we are swinging. Obviously much less of an issue with the driver off the tee or the fairway woods, which are more of a sweeping type of swing, but the, probably the biggest difference between the long irons and the short irons are number one the length of the golf club the long irons are longer than the short irons but number two the distance we then stand from the golf ball because with the shorter irons I'm much closer to the golf ball with the longer irons I'm further and that indeed does become a little bit more of a sweeping swing although my goal with all of my divots or all of my strikes is to have the ball hit in the in the middle of my club face and then this sole of the golf club to be riding along the turf, ideally with this shaft angle leaning forward at impact. What I don't want is a scooping action where the shaft angle goes backwards. This is most indicative of high handicap golfers. They will scoop at it with their hands and then they run into all kinds of problems because you can see I just turned this seven iron that I'm holding into a nine iron or pitching wedge and then that's when people will say, I tend to hit all of my clubs the same distance. So you run into all kinds of problems. So ideally we want to have the shaft of the club leaning forward at impact, and I want this sole of the club riding along the turf, okay? So here's how we're gonna start this, Ben. I wanna make sure, first of all, when I set up over the golf ball, that my weight distribution is correct. So with my, with my shorter irons, I'm gonna be about 50-50. Uh, if I want to hit the ball a little lower, I might start even with a little bit more of my weight on my left side. When I go to the longer irons, I'm going to go about 60-40 on my right leg. And that's just to get me ready to get loaded into my right side this way as I swing. And I want my weight to go back into my right hip here. I want everything kind of moving in this way, never to the outside. People that tend to hit the golf ball fat or real heavy tend to get their weight on the outside of their right leg and right foot and they have a breakdown position. So one key position really good players notice and are aware of is that their weight goes into this right hip while they kind of go backwards this way and their weight never gets to the outside over here. You can sit on this right leg and into this right hip but you don't want to go over here because then it's too difficult to get back to my left side and I'll tend to have a reverse weight shift and a reverse pivot 
and have the club come down back here behind the golf ball too early. So I want to make sure when I do set up, and this is a seven iron, so I'm going to set up about 50-50 with this golf club. And once I get set up over the ball, I'm going to have the ball about in the middle of my stance. Maybe a little more forward if I want to hit a little higher. And once I get set up here, now my goal is to let my weight move back into that right leg, but not to the outside of the right leg. Now I want to, when I shift forward, I want to shift and start the downswing with my left hip. And that, let, that helps the club dropping from the top and my left hip turning at the same time. That's a conjunctive effort between this side of my body and this side. And then I move into that side. Now my goal, if I can stay at the same height as when I start, this club should return to about the same place that it started. And then because of the downward motion of the swing, it should catch the turf. And the old saying is bacon strips, not pork chops. Or divots more like dollar bills. I'm only going to get steep if I tend to throw the club out over this way, which is normally my upper half of my body being too active instead of getting a ride down from my left hip opening and starting the downswing. Okay? I can't stress that enough for you. When you start your downswing, that you're going to bump your weight to the left, and then my lower half is going to turn to my target. If that occurs, the quality of my strike is going to be pretty good. Be something like this. I'll hit a, I'll hit one here for you. And I started that downswing with my lower body, and there's my divot from the golf ball forward. Nice light divot, not too deep. This is a very, very key point with regard to the quality of your strike and the predictable distances of your golf clubs. Remember, once you get set up about 50-50, maybe 60-40 in the longer golf clubs, you start that downswing from the top where you start the downswing with that lower, that left hip, bumping left and then turning to the left, and your strikes will get much better. For more information, be sure to see your local PGA golf professional. Thank you, Ben. Best of your game.